Here's an inch and a quarter mega press 90 that we have here. And I uh, just wanted to show you that when, when the pipe goes in, how much play there is really a significant amount of play in, inside here. And they really sit loosely. Because there's a lot of play in this fitting, uh, I have a level on it, so I'm going to hold it level and then press it when it's level. And so these are all prepared. They've been deburred on the ends. Then they've been cleaned with emery paper. And then the, the depth has been measured and lined. And they're ready to be pressed. So you can see that just there's a significant amount of slop in an unpressed fitting. But once they're pressed, they sit really tight. Mega press on larger than one inch black iron pipe is it, it requires an actuator and these special rings. So this is the actual press ring that goes on the pipe and then this actuator just pinches right here on this these two little dots right here they receive this and it presses it together when it's on the pipe like that so I have assembled the press ring over the fitting and again I'm gonna hold that level part of the the main issue with uh, the with, with these press guns on some of them if you have the standard size gun is that they're so big you have to really plan out where the gun is going to go. I have a whole mess of pipes here uh, going, running in every direction and you know we're, we're here to change the boiler not repipe the whole house so all that stuff has to stay and we need to press this in place where it is. So here we have the press ring in place and it's ready to be pressed. Okay, so here we're all set up, ready to press. The machine's on the ring, and we're going to pull the trigger here. And that's it. One of my biggest concerns with the using the actuator and the separate ring is leaving the ring on a pipe somewhere in a job. So uh, you have to always remember to take this off when you're done. When we're working with press fittings after they are pressed, we always mark them with an X so that we know that they are pressed. An important note I'd like to make here is that this is a hydronic heating pipe. So that is a, a fitting, the mega press used here, the mega press fitting used here is designed for water and steam. If you use the mega press on gas piping, you need a different fitting. So here's a quick example um, to differentiate between the two. This this is a water fitting as a green sticker, but what's really important is that O-ring. That O-ring in there is black. You can see it. That means this is for water and steam. You would never use this on gas pipe. This, however, is yellow and yellow is for gas. So you would use this one inch, this is one inch, the one inch mega press yellow on gas. And uh, it's very important to specify each one. You would never use this in water and you would never use this on gas. But other than that, the fittings would be identical. But it's, very, it's a very important distinction uh, to not mix up the water and the gas fittings.